India, a land of most diverse color and beauty, a cradle of spirituality and compassion, where science and art find equal expression side by side, a melting pot of cultures whose heart actually beats in its fields. And one of the million things that knits this vast patchwork of communities together are these beautiful white and purple flowers. Beautiful because beneath the soil, under these flowers, lies that wonderful tuber we call the potato. This modified stem is a hugely important and nutritious food in India. Rich in carbohydrates, proteins, minerals, vitamins and high quality fiber. Boiled, fried or roasted, curried, processed or cooked in a myriad different ways. India has taken the potato completely to heart. And coming to think of it, the potato is not native to India. It originated in the high Andean region of South America. Peruvian archaeological excavations have revealed the remains of potatoes as early as 8000 to 6000 BC. In time, the potato made its way across Europe and it is believed that the potato was brought to India in the late 16th or early 17th century by British missionaries or Portuguese traders. Between 1824 and 1939, systematic attempts were made to introduce new potato varieties mainly from Europe. And by the 19th century, the potato was widely grown throughout the country. Owing to contrasting cropping conditions, varieties from Europe and the USA were unsuitable in terms of productivity and the country initiated its own potato variety improvement program. The potato breeding program in India was initiated in 1935 at the potato breeding station at Shimla under the then Imperial and now Indian Agricultural Research Institute, New Delhi. Comprehensive research on the potato began under the guidance of Sir Herbert Stewart, the then agricultural advisor to the government of India. The CPRI, the Central Potato Research Institute, was established in August 1949 at Patna under the Ministry of Agriculture, Government of India. In 1956, the CPRI headquarters shifted to Shimla under the recommendations of an expert committee since the altitude and wet temperate climate of the hills provide the ideal location for producing and maintaining healthy seed, breeding new improved varieties through hybridization from a wide potato genetic base. CPRI's infrastructure grew hugely from here on as India embraced the Green Revolution in its quest for food self-sufficiency. In April 1966, CPRI was transferred to the ICAR, the Indian Council of Agricultural Research, between 1956 and 1983, a chain of regional research stations was established in different potato growing zones of the country to address local problems of potato cultivation. Today, the CPRI has seven regional research stations located at Kufri in Himachal Pradesh, Jalandhar in Punjab, Modipuram in Uttar Pradesh, Patna in Bihar, Shillong in Meghalaya, Gwalior in Madhya Pradesh and Uttakamand in Tamil Nadu. The CPRI campus at Modipuram in Uttar Pradesh is one of the largest among the CPRI stations credited next only to the headquarters at Shimla. The Modipuram campus is the main center for potato research relating to the agronomical research, TPS technology, post-harvest technology, breeder seed production, potato processing, nutrient and water management, and transfer of technology. The CPRI with its chain of regional research centers and six divisions has a wide mandate that covers research and development on all aspects of the potato. 
to undertake basic and strategic research for developing technologies to enhance productivity and utilization of the potato. To produce disease-free basic seed of different notified varieties developed by the Institute. To act as a national repository of scientific information relevant to the potato. To provide leadership and coordinate network research with state agricultural universities for generating location and variety specific technologies and for solving area specific problems of potato production. To collaborate with national and international agencies to achieve the Institute's objectives. To act as a center for training in research methodologies and technologies for upgrading scientific manpower in modern potato production. And to provide consultancies in potato research and development. Given that the mandate of the CPRI is wide-ranging and very diverse, the organization's work is carried out under 21 well-defined research programs by its six divisions. Crop Improvement, Crop Physiology, Biochemistry and Post-Harvest Technology, Crop Production, Seed Technology, Plant Protection and Social Sciences. The research activities of the CPRI are conducted through its divisions on various aspects of potato. The Division of Crop Improvement works on collection and conservation of potato germplasm, development of parental lines and improved cultivars, exploiting biotechnological applications and identification of TPS hybrids for commercial cultivation. The Division of Crop Production is concerned with development of agrotechniques for optimizing potato production, identification of profitable potato-based cropping systems, and the development and design of farm implements for the mechanization of potato cultivation. The Division of Plant Protection is mainly concerned with the study and management of diseases and insect pests that affect the potato. The Division of Crop Physiology, Biochemistry and Post-Harvest Technology carries out studies on crop productivity, quality, environmental stress, post-harvest handling, storage and processing of the potato. The Division of Seed Technology deals with the maintenance of healthy planting stocks, production and supply of breeder seed, and rapid multiplication and micropropagation of healthy seed potato. The Division of Social Sciences carries out research on extension strategies for potato technology transfer, market behavior and economics of potato production, development of statistical designs and impact assessment of potato technologies. In addition to its various divisions and regional research stations, the ICAR also set up the All India Coordinated Research Project on Potato or AICRP Potato with its headquarters at CPRI Shimla. The AICRP Potato has 25 research centers, 7 located at regional research stations of the CPRI and 15 at different state agricultural university campuses. Improved varieties of potato and potato related agro techniques developed in the country are evaluated in AICRP potato research centers before they are recommended for commercial use. Together, the CPRI and the AICRP potato account for more than 95% of the potato-related research in India. Through the CPRI's sterling concerted work over six decades, the potato is now grown all across India. In the northwestern hills, northeastern hills and southern hills, the western, central and eastern Indo-Gadgetic plains and the plateau region of India. The potato is now grown all across India. In fact, India has emerged as a world leader 
in subtropical potato cultivation. CPRI's tremendous accomplishments over six decades in the domains of research, seed production and transfer of technology are hugely numerous and deep. Here are just a few of the CPRI's top-line achievements. Established a germplasm collection for over 3,000 accessions. Released 45 high-yielding varieties suitable for cultivation under diverse agroclimatic conditions of the country. These varieties occupy about 95% of the total potato growing area of the country. Developed the seed plot technique and established a national disease-free seed production program for both hills and plains. Standardized techniques for micropropagation, in vitro microtuber production and rapid multiplication. Produced transgenic potatoes with durable resistance to late blight, reduced cold-induced sweetening, better bacterial wilt tolerance and better protein quality. Develop the technology for raising commercial crops using true potato seed or TPS. Develop package of practices for growing potato under diverse agroclimates of the country. Identified profitable potato-based cropping systems for different agroclimatic zones of the country. Develop potato-specific agricultural implements based on local requirements across the entire spectrum of potato cultivation developed late blight forecasting systems for the hills as well as for plains. The list of accomplishments could go on and on, but it would be far more fitting to assess the huge positive impact of CPRI's work in so many dimensions on rural India. There has been spectacular growth in area, production and productivity during the last six decades, with 2004-2005 data showing a productivity of 18.5 tons per hectare. The immense varietals improvement program has been instrumental in higher cropping intensity with higher income to farmers. The country has become self-sufficient in seed production which resulted in gigantic foreign exchange savings. Farmers avail of cheaper seeds and thus realize better incomes. Extension activities and transfer of technology have yielded improved adoption of potato technologies by farmers. The potato being a wholesome food, the increased per capita potato consumption has led to improved human nutrition and health standards. Potato cultivation being labor intensive, it has resulted in the direct generation of rural employment to the level of 27.6 crore man days. Potato processing also provides tremendous indirect employment to the unorganized sector which carries out about 90% of the total processing. CPRI also offers services to the corporate sector in the form of consultancy services, contract research, contract services, information and documentation services and miscellaneous services. Quality human resources are the key strength of any good institution and CPRI fulfills its mandate with the help of manpower drawn from diverse expertise which includes scientists, technical, administrative and support staff. The entire CPRI team stands committed to its mission to improve potato production by developing high yielding varieties and packages of practices for crop production and protection. The CPRI is committed to the widest dissemination of knowledge and organizes a range of training activities for farmers and extension personnel on potato cultivation practices through its division of social sciences. These include model training courses, training programs and refresher courses. Ensuring that the benefits of CPRI's work reach the fields of India is a major part of the organization's mandate, which is why the CPRI lays tremendous emphasis on the transfer of technology. Modipuram campus is actively involved in transfer of technology related to potato production and utilization to the end users and they include both public and private sector. Instead of conventional approaches like holding of Kisan Melas, Kisan Ghosties, conducting frontline demonstrations and carrying out capacity building of the personnel involved in potato production and utilization, 
we have also exploited the full potential of the electronic media, uh, holding and organizing phone in programs and potato school on air have been a runaway success. Farmers of more than 13 states have taken part in these programs and their knowledge related to potato cultivation has increased tremendously. As a result of this, the potato productivity in the states have also increased. The CPRI also uses Kisan Melas and potato exhibitions to disseminate the latest potato production, protection and post-harvest technologies. Field days provide on-farm training and scientist meets provide forums for discussion on the latest and emerging R&D issues. The CPRI enables higher education in the form of doctoral research through the headquarters at Shimla and the Modipuram Center. Over the decades, the CPRI has built up excellent knowledge resources through its superlative library and agricultural technology information center or ATIC and other knowledge utilities. CPRI boasts a well-documented second largest potato library in the world containing over 42,000 documents and subscribing to all relevant periodicals and worldwide digital agriculture databases. The Agriculture Technology Information Center or ATIC carries out extension activities through the sale and supply of CPRI publications, screening potato related films, maintaining the museum and organizing exhibits at farmers fairs. The Aries cell at CPRI provides internet related services within the organization. Over the decades, in recognition of CPRI's excellence in creating and disseminating knowledge, CPRI's scientists and staff have won more national and international awards than can be conveniently mentioned.